Hello everyone. My name is Mr. Viresh Kadimbe, registered nurse practitioner, currently doing my MSc nursing in medical surgical nursing at STM Institute of Nursing Sciences, Darwin. Today I will be demonstrating head to toe examination for you all. Physical examination. It is a systemic examination of the body from head to toe and also it is a systemic collection of objective information that is directly observed or it is elicited through examination techniques. The physical examination is done to understand the physical mental well-being of the client, to detect diseases in its early stage, to determine the cause and extent of the diseases, to understand any changes in the condition of the diseases, to determine the nature of the treatment or nursing care needed for the client to safeguard the client and his family by noting the early signs, to contribute to the medical research, to find out whether the person is medically fit for a particular task. Physical examination. It is an important part of health assessment. It provides objective data for identifying problems and making diagnosis. Four basic techniques are used in physical examination. They are inspection, palpation, percussion, auscultation. Inspection. Inspection. It is a visual examination of the body. It involves careful and keen observation of the client's general appearance, that is, body size, shape, stretcher, gait, or posture. It involves to correlate the client's words with the body language, whether the client expressions are in accordance with the body language. Palpation. It is a second technique of physical examination by the sense of touch. It is the use of tactile sensation to feel texture, size, shape, consistency and placement or location of organs. Palpation is done by two methods that is gentle palpation and deep palpation. Gentle palpation, it is attained by pressing one centimeter in depth for assessing skin, pulse palpation and to check for tenderness. Deep palpation, it involves the use of both hands to press four centimeter in depth to determine organ size and color. Depalpation is done to examine deeper organs such as liver and spleen. Basic techniques used in palpation. Before palpating, explain the procedure because touch has a great significance in our culture. Your hand should be warm with short nails. Ulna surface is more sensitive to vibrations. Dorsal surface is used to assist the temperature. Percussion. It is a technique of tapping fingers on portion of the body which produces sounds that aid in diagnosing the condition of underlying tissues. The sounds may hurt like flatness, dullness, resonance, hyperresonance or tympan. It is used to determine position, size, shape of internal organs as well as to detect fluid filled organs. Percussion consists of two types that is direct percussion, indirect percussion, direct percussion. Here, one or two fingers are used to percuss directly against the body surfaces, such as over the sinuses to elicit tenderness. Indirect percussion Use distal phalanges of the middle finger of your non-dominant hand on the skin or soft tissues. Bend the middle finger of your dominant hand at its intraphalangeal joint to create a hammer. Auscultation It is a technique to listen to internal body sounds, to assess normal sounds and detect abnormal sounds. It is a final technique of physical examination where stethoscope is used to enhance sounds from heart, lungs, vascular system. Techniques of using stethoscope in auscultation. Hold the diaphragm between the index and middle finger firmly against the skin surface to hear high pitch sounds such as lung sounds, heart sounds and blood pressure. Place the bell lightly in contact with the skin to hear low pitch sounds such as murmur and brutes. Place the chest piece on the skin so that it is between bone and not over them because bone does not transmit sound. Clothing and excessive chest hair interfaces with the sound transmission and may introduce artifacts. Snug fitting ear piece. Occlude the external ear canal to enhance sound transmission from the chest piece. Keep the tubing no longer than 12 to 15 inches. For the best sound transmission, pierce of contact with all surfaces to prevent extraneous noises. Prerequisites for physical examination includes environmental preparation, patient preparation, cell preparation. Environmental preparation 
maintain proper privacy maintain adequate ventilation maintain adequate lighting keep the surrounding clean patient preparation includes taking the consent of the patient for the procedure provide comfortable position to the patient provide gown to the patient for the examination self preparation includes wash hands before the procedure arrange articles required for examination Articles required for physical examination includes PPR tray containing thermometer to check temperature, watch to check pulse rate and respiration rate, sphygmo manometer to check blood pressure, stethoscope to auscultate body sounds, tongue depressor to examine mouth and throat, laryngoscope to examine the larynx, measuring tape to measure the abdominal girth. torch to visualize any part of the body otoscope to examine the ear tuning fork to test the hearing mouth mirror to look for gums or teeth nasal speculum to examine the nostrils knee hammer to test for reflexes proctoscope to examine the rectum gloves to examine the body Sterile specimen bottle to collect specimen if necessary. Snell and chart to measure visual acuity. Pulse oximeter to monitor SpO2 level. Cotton ball and some ingredients like sugar, salt, coffee powder to know sensory function. Weighing machine to check the weight. Stadiometer to check the height. Let us move on to general physical examination. Before general physical examination, perform hand washing. Yes, coming. Good morning. Very good morning. Hello, this is Viraj Kadamani, registered nurse practitioner. Today I have been asked to examine you. This will involve looking from head to toe and by feeling different parts of the body. Then let me put the stethoscope at the end. Is that okay with you? Yeah, okay. Thank you. May I know your name and age, please? Yeah, sure. It's Ajay Kumar. I'm 30 years old. Okay. Okay, Mr. Ajay. Do you have any pain anywhere in your body? No, sir. Do you have any questions about the exam? No, I don't have. Okay, okay Mr. Ajay Kumar, we can start the examination. Yes. Starting with the general appearance. According to which general appearance of our patient will be, Mr. Ajay Kumar, 30 years old, moderately built and well nourished, conscious and active in nature. So now let us move on to general mental status examination. General mental status examination concentrated on patient having orientation to time, place, person, and you can examine patient mental status examination by asking some open-ended questions like, Mr. Ajay Kumar, where are you now? I am in hospital. Why you are here now? I am here because uh, some health issues. Okay. What is the time now? Can you say the time approximately? Yeah, it's approximately 10 a.m. Okay. By this data, I can conclude that Mr. Ajay Kumar is oriented to time, place, person, and is active and alert. So now let us check your height and weight. Yes. Mr. Ajay, come and stand here. Can stand here. So your weight is 61 kg. Can you stand here? Look straight. Let's check your weight. Hi. Can you come this side? So your height is 169 cm. Mr. Ajay, now let's calculate your body mass index. To calculate the body mass index, we use the following formula that is body mass index equal to weight divided by height in meter square. So our client weight is 61 kg and height is 169 cm. So 21.4 kg per meter square is the body mass index. So my client Mr. Ajay has normal body mass index. <laughs> Why 
Vital signs are often considered to be a baseline indicator of the patient's health status. It is necessary to know the cardinal signs of the patient. It includes temperature, pulse rate, respiration rate, blood pressure. So Mr. Ajay, could you please lie down? So your temperature is 37.6 degrees. So now let's see the blood pressure. Now your blood pressure is 125. So your SPO2 level is 95%. Vital signs of Mr. Ajay, temperature is 37.6 degrees Celsius, pulse rate is 72 beats per minute, respiration is 20 beats per minute, blood pressure is 120 by 80 mm of Hg, oxygen saturation is 95%. By this I conclude Mr. Ajay's vital signs are normal. So let us move on to head and face examination.